Hi everyone, my name is Phyllis Gillison and I'm a License Visualization Manager at SAP. Today, we will go through the detailed steps how you can prepare for an SAP audit. Everything starts with the initial mail from the auditor. You will receive the following. Self-declaration form. This document contains all products which cannot be measured technically and require you to review and with different departments around the company to gather this data. Metric examples are employees or revenue. Measurement plan. The measurement plan contains all your relevant systems which are in scope for the measurement. Only ABAP, Productive and Development Systems will be considered. To edit these entries, you can access the system management by clicking the link provided in the document or by accessing the system measurement preparation area, also linked in the auditor's email. You can also find both links in the description below. Relevant notes to keep up to date. This document contains all notes which had a correction or an urgent correction which are required for a proper measurement of products. You can check this manually or use the document provided by the auditor. In addition, all helpful links will be provided in the description below, as well as in the email by the auditor. This is the first part of a two-part series where we explain how you can prepare for an SAP audit on your own systems. In the following video, which is linked in the description below, you will be able to see a system demo of the main system measurement tools. Alternatively, you can also click on the playlist labeled Licensing Done Quick on the SAP YouTube channel, where all videos concerning SAP licensing are shown.